Grand Rising from the Chariot Tarot, where we keep moving forward through all life's obstacles. I hope you had a good night's sleep. This is a personal reading. It's a love reading. So bless this reading so I can read these cards accurately and precisely. Any negative energy sent towards me or anyone in the sound of my voice, send it back 10 times fold. This could be past, present, or future. So take that into consideration. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Use your own spirit of discernment. Tarot is gender fluid. Okay? So that could be a, a tower happening. Someone could be feeling left out in the cold. Someone could be becoming homeless. Someone could be lacking spirit, spirituality, like lacking faith. Someone could be lacking money. Could be a queen of swords. That's an air sign. We have the sun. Someone could be happy. Someone could have kids. We know you have kids, though. Let's talk. But you could be happy or you could be seeking happiness. Okay. Holy Spirit, what is the message from you to me through the cards? Please and thank you. We have tempers at the bottom of the deck. What is the energy of their overall relationship, her and her baby daddy? What is the overall energy? Okay, someone could be making plans. What kind of plans are these with this two of wands? We got the nine of pentacles. So you could be... Stable on your own, you say it like that. Nine of Pentacles. What are you planning? What are you planning? Are you planning to travel? Are you planning to leave? You could be planning to pick up a new skill or Page of Pentacles. Pick up a job. We want the four the four of cups wanted to come out. Like that's someone being not interested. Is that a queen of wands. You could be picking up a new skill, a new job skill. Thank you. Okay, you're not following your intuition also. What is she not following her intuition about? About something you feel like you're getting away with? Or that someone else has gotten away with? Clarify. If... Okay. Got the Six of Swords. So, you could be not following your intuition, not have all your ducks in a row about some action that was taken or was will be taken. But you need to move on to calmer waters. Yeah, we got the three of swords. You could have been heartbroken by this person. Someone could have been put in third-party situations with this Three of Swords. You're trying to get over the heartbreak. Okay. So, you all could be move, trying to move. You trying to move to common waters with him after this heartbreak. Okay. Um, have you healed from this heartbreak? Mm. You might be healing but i don't think you healed you could feel like he's not accepting your love offer You could be over him not showing you love. Her shirt says over it, but you probably not over it. Of course you're not over it. 
you want him to accept your love. That's what it is. You want this new opportunity. You want a new start with him. You want you want to start over. Yeah, King of Cups. He fell right in front of you. He could be holding back. Is he holding back? Is the King of Cups holding back? Yeah. He could be holding back. With this Five of Pentacles. Like I said, somebody feels left out in the cold. So y'all could be co-parenting, but you're not together. We have Tower at the end, bottom of the deck again. Someone could be a fire sign. Someone could be a water sign. Queen of Cups. Give me some of this Queen of Cups. You could be feeling defeated because he's holding back and not taking action with you. Is this King of Cups in love with his baby mama? Okay, so it seems like that you all could used to fight in the past, but you don't fight a lot anymore. Seems like it could have calmed down. Seems like someone could be trying to balance things out or you need to balance things out. What's the Seven of Swords energy? Mm. Okay. So, you could have got betrayed in the past, but it seems like, like it has stopped. Six of Swords, moving on to calmer waters. Who was that? We got the King of Wands, King of Swords. And that came out sideways right on top of the five of wands. At one point, y'all y'all could have broke up because y'all were fighting so much in the home and y'all had to leave the home. Yeah, we had an ace of swords at the bottom of the deck. That's truth and clarity. He wants to move on to common waters. <coughs> Bless you. Also, he could see a bright future with you after the heartbreak. Like, after you all have been through this, he could see a bright future with you. Should I leave this? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Also, it could have been his house that y'all were staying in. You were staying with him in the house that y'all kept having a lot of arguments in. Hey, what's this four of cups? Okay, this is someone trying to win at all costs, even if the person is not in love. You could be sad, depressed. Okay, is this King of Cups in love with his baby mama? Queen of Swords. You can have your guard up to him. 
What is current emotions? What is current emotions? So like you want to make amends. It seems like that you want to try to make amends. Does she want to make amends? You could feel burdened, overloaded, bombarded by things. Tower, hermit. Okay. You making amends could cause a tower to happen. Also, you need to work on yourself. Before you take this leap of faith. Tell you because somebody's holding back. King of Wands came outside with that's someone who's a leader, who's an entrepreneur. Like he could have been the head of the household. What's this food energy? Queen of Cups. Yeah, you love them. Y'all coming out as each other match. Got the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Also, this could be you trying to get evidence from me. Instead of following your intuition and moving on to common waters, I'm also seeing that. Ten of Cups. You could need to move forward in life to get this Ten of Cups. You might have to move past this baby daddy. Now you got hidden emotions and things, but clarify. Does she need to move forward? Okay, we got the Eight of Pentacles. That's someone working on something like I'm saying it's kind of like I'm saying you need to work on yourself. Will they get back together? If anything, he's going to do what he needs to make his wishes come true. And his child wishes come true. I know he's going to make sure his child is happy. Does he want to build a long-lasting relationship with his baby mama? I know he wants to do teamwork. But that's like working together, co-parenting. It says three of pentacles. That's like, you know, we making sure things are getting done. We had the devil at the bottom of the deck. Someone could be toxic. Someone could need to apologize about the people they collaborated with also. Yeah. Someone needs to walk away from things that don't serve their higher good. So they can become an emperor. It might take a long time. But this man will boss up. I don't know if he's going to boss up for you. Clarify, is he going to boss up for his baby mama? He got the seven of pentacles. 
he has vested a lot of time and energy into you, but he also feels like he hasn't got what he has wanted in return. Someone could like to celebrate a lot. Also, he wants equal give and take. Okay, so what does she need to know in order to move forward? What does she need to do in order to move forward? We've got the Ace of Pentacles. You could be getting a new start or you could need a new financial start in order to move forward. We got the King of Pentacles because he is a stable man. So he's coming out as all the kings, baby. But we got the devil. So somebody could have been messing with someone else. Someone could have been cheating. Someone could have been a cheater. Someone, he could feel that this is a toxic relationship because he is the stable one. Give me some on this devil. Yeah, things are not in alignment. Either you all are not in alignment or something is not in alignment. Something has not healed. Someone is not being real, authentic. Someone is not pouring into their self, also pouring into others. Someone is out of alignment. Someone is not having hope and faith for, for this future. And I believe it's him. Like As far as a relationship, I feel like he doesn't see one with you. I feel like he sees like it's, it could be toxic. He could be... Also, he can need to walk away from things that don't serve his higher good so he can have this Ace of Pentacles and be a King of Pentacles. But it seems, oh, I'm telling you, I'm going to be honest with you, baby. It don't seem like this is not no for everything. Like, it don't seem like he loves you. He in love with you. You his baby mama. But... I'm flipped over. No. Nope. Someone could be losing faith. You got the devil out here. That's a toxic relationship. That's like anger, greed. That someone could have vices. Someone could be addicted to someone. Someone could be like. Fornicating a lot. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. Someone got some vices. Someone has not healed. Someone is not, not ready. Someone has not healed. Someone feel like they got away with something also with that seven of swords. Okay. So we got the four of pentacles in reverse. That's someone who spends too much money, who doesn't know how to save. This is someone who just out there buying buying bullshit that don't even, you know, that ain't even important. You got the ex of cups sideways. This is like it's about to be in reverse. The ex of cups is love, happiness, joy, peace. It's sideways. Thank you. Someone's in a lot of mental conflict. Someone needs to face the truth. He could feel trapped. You could feel trapped. Somebody feels trapped in this relationship. Thank you. 
page of ones that's like not being expired, no inspiration. That's like getting bad news. <laughs> What's this bad news? It could be dealing with the Ten of Pentacles, which is money. I'm going to leave that right there since that's where it fell. And this Ace of Cups fell on top of this Eight of Cups, the Tower, the Page of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. You could get bad news about some money. I'm getting wreck money. I don't know why. We got judgment and seven of cups. I'm telling you, someone needs to awaken to the illusions that they see. They need to awaken past the illusions that they see. What are these delusions? Please and thank you. There is no new opportunity. Whatever that new opportunity is for you, there it's in reverse. You need to see the truth and clarity about a situation. You need to follow your intuition. Stop going against your intuition. Stop going against your better judgment. I'm also hearing... Anything else? Mm. Ten of Swords, Lovers, Death, Hierophant. Someone needs to practice loyalty because someone is tired of being betrayed. They are sick and tired of being betrayed by the people they choose to love and deal with. Someone needs to make a judgment call on the things that they do or on the things that has been done to them so they can make a better choice because we got death coming out. Somebody needs to transform if they want loyalty. If they want a loyal lover, they want commitment. Someone needs to put a death to things or transform their life. Someone needs to awaken, okay? Someone needs to take the shit-colored glasses off, okay? Something is going to have to change in order for a committed relationship to happen. A real committed relationship. Any final messages? And I'm going to close this out. Someone needs to change. Someone needs to awaken. Someone needs to transform. Someone. Yeah. We got the Six of Cups sideways. This is like somebody you've known for a long time. I'm telling you. This is. Yeah. So they're at a distance. You could feel like they turned their back on you. You're waiting, they're waiting, somebody's waiting. Yeah, you want I'm telling you, you want this connection so bad. Like y'all are co parenting, but you want you want more. Something gonna have to change though. Yeah, because you having sleepless nights, depression. Yeah. Something gonna have to change. Something gonna have to change. You're gonna have to change. She's gonna have to change. Someone's need to speak their truth. See the truth for what it is. Someone feels stuck. Someone, you know, is toxic or something to that effect. You could be toxic in different ways. 
you could be the type of person who talks shit all day, like just drags the person and toxic like that. You ain't got to be putting your hands on nobody to be toxic. You could be mentally toxic. You could be, you know, emotionally toxic. Something like that. Something, something, something is off. Okay, something is off. Feel like that. Honestly, it seems like you see more with him, but he don't see like he don't see y'all starting over. Okay, if that's that's what this is about, it seems like he don't see y'all starting over. Something's gonna have to change in order for y'all to start over. Clarify, please and thank you with one card. Please and thank you with one card. Clarify if something needs to change. Queen of Cups, baby mama. Yeah. We got the Queen of Cups with the Hermit to the Wheel of Fortune. You need to do some healing. You need to do some inner work. You need to spend some time alone in order for the cycle to change, in order for you to be on top of the wheel, in order for you to get good karma. Something has to change. Someone has to confess. Someone has to forgive. Okay? That's the only way, if you want this, uh, I'm telling you, you could need to apologize, make amends to him for everything you have put him through. If you cheated, you need to make amends. Yeah, y'all need to talk. You could be trying to force something. Oh, Spirit, what's the message from the inner fucking piece deck? Please and thank you. Can I get some that we haven't used? Please and thank you. Someone feels irritated. Take a five minute mental vacation. It's fuck this shit o'clock. Accept this. Better watch out. I'm coming for a next inner peace. It's my bitch. Okay. You got fuck yeah. Dance in the storm. What else? Please and thank you. Because I'm done listening. Talk to the hands mug. Because the face don't understand mug. Thank you. Seriously. Oh, something so right about that. Keep your word. I'm telling you, someone could need to tell the truth. Keep your word. Someone doesn't know how to keep their word. Someone doesn't stand on what they say and mean. We got show up and throw it down. Don't phone it in. Okay? So that means face-to-face -face conversation needs to happen. Not over no phone shit. Okay? Seriously? And it still came out. Ain't that some? A wise woman was said, fuck this shit, and she lived happily ever after. Okay. We got two cards. We got Hello Sea of Tranquility. Bye bye, dumbass bullshit. YOLO. Carpe fucking diem. And what's at the bottom of the deck? We have. Have a meditation staycation. 
um, sweet, um, someone can need to meditate. And I'm going to leave it there. I hope this helps. But always remember, use your own spirit of discernment. If you're confused, go to God with a question, with a sincere heart. And trust me, he will give you the answer, whether you like it or not. Okay? But I send you peace, love, and virtual hugs. Thank you for choosing me to do your reading. And always remember, put God first in your life and everything going to be all right. Till next time.